Hi! In this video we are using Substance 3D Designer to turn an existing pattern or generator into a reusable node. Let's explore first what custom nodes are. Custom nodes are nodes you create yourself, with new custom controls and custom inputs and outputs. They are very useful because they let you reuse things easily, speeding up your work. You can build custom nodes that generate many variations of stones, cracks or drips for example. It's best if you are already familiar with building some graphs in Designer before you try to follow this video. Let's build the simple crack generator together and learn how to bring it into other graphs. We start by opening the start file in the tutorial resources. Then we progress with establishing an output and inputs for the new crack generator. Those are empty connection points our generator will have. Here we connect the blend node with an output node. Under label we rename the node and use the same name without caps as identifier. I always keep my outputs, inputs and parameters properly named and organized. We have to decide what aspects of the cracks we want to control our custom inputs. For this example I want to have inputs for crack breakup and additional detail of the cracks. Now we delete the Perlin noise and clouds2 node because we want to control them with custom inputs. Let's add two input grayscale nodes and plug one into the levels node and rename it as crack breakup input. Connect the other with the intensity and the slope input and give it the name additional detail input. All those names are shown when we use the node in another graph. Let's rename it to Cracks Generator and save it. If we want to expose parameters and work inside of the Cracks Generator graph, all the inputs are still black, even with nodes connected to our inputs. This can be pretty annoying while exposing parameters. There's a good solution for this. Let's create a new substance graph with an empty template. Rename it and drag and drop the cracks generator graph into it. Then we open the edit preferences window and under graph we enable enable graph editing in context. Connect the crystal 1 node with a scale of 6 into the crack breakup input and the clouds 2 node with a scale of 4 into the additional detail input. Now when we right click on the cracks generator and choose open reference in context, we see the used input textures instead of just black images. This makes it much easier to work with. Now we have to decide what aspects of the cracks we want to control. We then have to find the parameters that control these aspects on the nodes. For this example I want to control the thickness, breakup intensity and detail intensity of the cracks. Let's start with the crack thickness. It's controlled with the radius parameter of the high pass grayscale node. We click on the drop down options next to the parameter and choose expose as new graph input. Then we customize the new parameter. The upper settings let you describe and organize it. The lower ones are more value, type and visibility focused. Let's rename it and adjust the identifier name too. To organize it even more we could use a group name, but with only a few parameters it's not needed. Now we click OK and the parameter is created and visible in the properties of the graph under input parameters. We'll do the same for the intensity parameter of the multidirectional warp node. It affects breakup intensity control. Let's increase the max to 100. This will be the maximum value of the new slider. And finally let's do it again for the intensity of the slope blur node. This one is for details intensity. Here's our final base result of the setup we did before. Let's save it and switch to the other graph we created earlier. When we select the cracks generator node we now also see our custom controls. Let's play a bit with the settings and adjust the crack thickness to 5.5 for slightly thicker cracks. You can also experiment with other noises as inputs and with the parameters we exposed. And that's our little crack generator. Use it in other projects and customize it even further if you want more controls. 
Here are some other generators I have done out of other quick tips. The first one is a generator to make shape variations with a base shape as input. It has various controls for warping and different variations. Next I have a mandala generator to quickly create different mandala patterns. It has various controls to adjust many aspects of the mandala itself and to randomize many different aspects of it. Last but not least a brush stroke generator to create different brush stroke patterns with huge control over the input brush stroke. I can further control the scale and many aspects of the warping details. Lots of other controls for splattering and randomization are also available. If you want to learn more you can download and open the graphs shown in the video. Thanks for watching and we would love to hear your thoughts, ideas and suggestions for future quick tips. So let us know them in the comments. See you in the next quick tip episode.